customer decides to hire you, it's smooth selling from there, right? Not always. Not always. Hi, my name is Tiffany Kellogg, a trainer with Ascentive, and today I'm joined with... Jason Avery. And uh, Jason, what is it you do? I own Avery Construction, which is a remodeling company, uh, kitchen and bathroom remodels, room additions. Uh, I also uh, own Constructing Success, where I coach other contractors how to establish you know, good business. And now you, you're holding your Constructing Success book, and you actually talk in this book about the, the customer roller coaster. Can you tell uh, the audience what is that all about and why is that important? So we all have a customer experience. It might vary in the duration of time. For some, it may be short, like an air conditioning technician. He's going to replace the unit today. If anything doesn't go perfect, he'll fix it tomorrow, and the job is complete. Done. You have other relationships, like the financial planner, that last a lifetime. What I've learned in the construction world is that my average customer experience is about three to four months. That's a pretty decent amount of time to be in a relationship with somebody. It's absolutely enough time to meet the best and the worst of each other. <laughs> Any character flaws that might exist will come out during that time. But the challenge of our industry is that we are going to tax that relationship to its fullest. Okay. What, what does that mean? So we meet somebody that's ready to remodel. That's Ooh, yay, exciting. That's exciting. It's going to be fun, right? Yes. Husbands and wives don't always agree about how much money we're going to spend or what color it's going to be or where I, we're going to I, put it. I never have that issue with Rob. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we do a little marriage counseling sometimes. Okay. We work our way through that. Uh, and now it's exciting. We're going to go forward. Let's start buying some materials. Again, we're out at five different locations picking out sinks and faucets and floors and paints and all the stuff that we're unsure about because we don't do this every day, and that stresses us out. Okay. We don't know what goes with what. Is this going to be okay? Okay. Our emotions are down here again. Not good. So we're going to go ahead and make all our selections, get past that point, and get start the job, right? That's fun. Yay. Day one, we're going to tear the entire house apart, knock down walls, Concrete floors, it's going to be a dusty, that dirty mess. That doesn't sound very, yeah. It's not very fun. Oh. You're making your coffee on the bathroom vanity. That's just gross. Ooh. So we put these people in an uncomfortable situation where they can't find anything because it's tucked away in a closet somewhere. They're getting their midnight snacks off the cold concrete floor. They have to uncover the refrigerator from the plastic that's draped over oh. it just to get to the milk and cookies. And uh, it is not comfortable, it's not fun, and we got strangers that'll be showing up at our house at 8.30 tomorrow morning oh, to no. keep on working. This goes on for weeks. So when we finally get some paint on the walls, that's usually pretty exciting. Our emotions flare up again, but it's gonna take way too long to finish the floors, the cabinets, the countertops, hook up the lighting and the plumbing. When we're done punching out, these people are punched out. They're done. <laughs> had enough. Remodeling's not fun anymore. We, we want out. We want these strangers to go home. We just want our house back. We want to get our lives back. That would be a terribly uncomfortable position to leave the customer in for yeah. good. That would not program a great testimonial into that customer. Right. So we've actually learned, wait a couple weeks, let them get their life back together, return to the home. It's a surprise visit. We call them a day ahead and say, we'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow. Love to stop and see you. We want to get a few pictures. We always surprise them with a gift. And, uh, and it's a nice gift, too. Yeah. It's a gift that speaks to multiple behavioral styles, whether you're the person that likes practical things or whether you're the person that likes, you know, classy things. If you just like fun things wrapped in a pretty box or, you know, if it needs to be sentimental and, and thoughtful, and uh, we, we give gifts that cover all these boundaries. And gotcha. uh, with that, we change the final story, the, the impression that the customer had and what they're going to tell to their friends and family. We ultimately capture the great testimonials at that time. And uh, from that, we build relationships that last and generate referrals for a long time to come. Gotcha. So what can people do to, to avoid the highs and lows making a dramatic impact on the relationship of the, the roller coaster? Well, it's as simple as this. Why don't you just lay it out on a piece of paper? How long is the timeline? Then we'll divide it up into some milestones, points in the process that we can recognize, whether you're initially quoting it, whether you're you know, in the planning stages, or whether you're in the fulfillment. And then list in each of those milestones what might be some of the 
industry related challenges. Gotcha. If you think you're doing everything perfect, talk about what the things are that your competition are messing up. So really you're just letting them know up front, here's what we're going to go through. Well, you're identifying the challenges so you can explain those clearly and communicate well, but you're also looking for the solutions to those things. What can you do to be proactive about it? Gotcha. Almost like you're playing a game of chess. How do you stay two moves ahead? of the person across the table. Gotcha. And when you communicate well with the client and you prepare them for the worst, then it's not so bad, you know, when you get through to the end. Gotcha. So if we want if you want more information on the customer roller coaster, you can certainly uh, read Constructing Success, which is available on Amazon. Uh, read it, send Jason your questions, he'd be happy to help. Leave some in the comments down below. We'll we'll drag him back on to answer your questions. And thank you so much for being here for the thank customer you. roller coaster.